you know, as we talked about the Arizona tragedy today, I mean, it, it's heartbreaking. And when you look at how it affects the actual lives, it's not just numbers of injured or numbers of dead. These are real people with real lives. But I hope what people take away from this is that, no, we don't have the ability to predict which troubled person is going to turn violent. But we do know how to identify troubled people. And those troubled people need our help. They need resources, mental health resources. They need love, care, and compassion for us. You wonder sometimes if someone along the way had stopped and sat down and talked to one of these people that turns violent, if it might have been enough to give them hope to stay plugged in and to reach out. I don't know, and I don't make excuses for those who choose violence over getting help. But I know we can improve things if we'll pay attention to those that are mentally ill, we'll pay attention to those that are under stress and having a hard time, and you know, reach out and show them some love and caring. I know, I'm the incurable optimist and a mental health advocate, but we do know those people that are hurting. We can reach out to them.